This video will show you one of the ways that you can manually create a, a trending variable for using an aux matrix regression. Now, I should be warned, this is probably a bit advanced for some, but it is nonetheless very useful. We select model, algebra. Now we first need to create a dummy for the period, period we wish to create a trend for. And we'll just for the example, say we want a trend starting in 1980 and ending in 1990. So we say write dummy 1980 to underscore 1990 is equal to in sample starting in 1980 in the in the first quarter. So we just comma and write one and ending in 1990 in say the second quarter then we use a question mark a one a colon a zero and a semicolon this will create a dummy variable uh, in this period now we need to create the actual trends so you write dummy for Jewish large letters dummy underscore trend underscore 1980 underscore 19 90. And again, you could have called this anything you want. I just prefer variables which have a meaning. So equal, and then use the com function, which will accumulate a variable. And of course, then we wish to accumulate our dummy variable for the period. We end the function and use a semicolon. And then, then let's see at the output. We press run. The first variable, dummy, 1980-1990, we can see here, consists of zeros until we hit 1980, and then it's ones until we hit the third quarter of 1990. The trend variable sums up the first variable, so it takes the variable one when the trend start, uh, when the dummy it takes the first one, second, uh, the value two, for the second one, and so on. Now when we then hit 1990, the third quarter, it just stays as it is, because the dummy takes the value zero from then on. We can include these in a regression as both a dummy for the period and a trend for the period.